brothers. I am ready. Then let's do this. We don't want this to be a game where it's impossible to hit anybody unless you put a thousand hours in so that your aim is good enough. Yes, I'm an engineer. That means I can use only shotguns. I know! Um, there's a submachine gun, but somehow, magically, my engineer butterfingers just can't deal with it. For us, that just seemed kind of ridiculous and silly and old school. So we wanted it to feel like kind of a more natural progression, which is why we put it on body types instead. It's when you go big, um, that you do become that big guy, and then you've got the miniguns, you've got the Gatling guns, you've got the rapid-fire grenade launchers. I mean, all these really cool things. And it just kind of feels natural, it's kind of intuitive. I mean, when you see these big behemoths walking down, you know, you know, the alleys with these big guns, you know, it puts the fear of God into you. And it just feels right. And on the flip side, if you're a skinny guy, doing all these cool acrobatic moves, getting to the front line first, you know, it's a reasonable trade-off that um, your primary weapon can't go any bigger than that submachine gun or, or that rifle, um, and your backup can't go any bigger than a pistol. But now, you don't have to feel bad about that, because there's really cool upsides to that as well. If you're running around with a pistol, that means in your offhand, you've got a knife. So while everybody else, when they're actually doing melee strikes, they're just actually trying to, you know, hit you with the butt of your gun. Um, as a skinny guy, you're just zipping along, you know, at hyperspeed, slashing people left, right, and center. So, you know, there's a little something for everybody, and we think it's actually pretty well balanced. There are so many first-person shooter fans out there. I mean, you see it in on forums all the time. You see it on game trailer forums all the time, um, where, oh, is that a multiplayer game? Pass! You know, because people just don't give it a, a second chance because they've had bad experiences, because they don't want to pay 50 bucks to play a game that makes them feel crappy about themselves and their personal skills. So we didn't want players to have that experience with Brink. We want them to go online. We want them to have these fantastic multiplayer experiences that they're missing out on. And so that means systematically hunting down all the stuff that makes multiplayer <laughs> and fixing those things so that everybody has a good time. And, you know, top of our hit list was one hit kills one hit kills when you're some ass sniper up on a hill who's been camping there all game having a great time having the time of your life just kill after kill after kill you know what for the good time you're having you're making you know five ten people miserable that is a really bad ratio for us as developers. Um, we would much rather say, sorry, Sniper Guy, there's plenty of other games you can play. We'd like everybody else to have a good time now. So, one hit kills, you just won't see them anywhere in the game. Whenever you die in Brink, um, if we've done our job right, you as a player will think, yeah, you know what, that was on me. I could have done something about that. And you know what, next time I will do better. That's the fundamental psychological drive that we think is what's going to keep people coming back. Our sniper rifles will not put anybody down in one bullet. Our grenades are actually fairly weak. They're less about just getting, you know, throwing it over there, just spraying, praying, ah, everybody died, yay, I feel really powerful. They're more about using them at the right place in the right time to put people on their ass, because that discombobulates them for a minute, which lets your team move forward. It's all about getting people to work together and play smartly and tactically. If you're playing, if you try just firing from the hip, you'll actually do very, very well. And um, if you want to do even better, there are abilities you can buy, so you can focus on being a good shoot from the hip. There are um, weapon attachments, you know, uh, uh, pistol grips, um, you know, muzzle brakes. I mean, you know, there, there's uh, choices you can make that makes firing from the hip just as valid. And um, you know, we think for players who like to play that way, they're going to have a great time, and they're not going to feel that they're at some kind of disadvantage because they're playing as somebody who's standing still. And by the same token, somebody who's actually you know less mobile because they're firing from the hip, they're not going to feel at a disadvantage because you know they are moving slower. It's really all about your personal play style. Um, half the people in our company, hell, more than half the people in our company never bring an IR site up at all. If the game wasn't playable for them, we would have failed internally in our own playtest. So we really want to ensure everybody can play the way they want to play. Uh, it's coming out on PS3, Xbox, 360, and PC uh, May 17th this year.